I believe that I believe this is going to be a battle between the father and son. I don't think anybody Davey. else can try, but here he comes. He's going to do the it. bottom. He's down low. Bobby Allison high. Davy Allison trying the inside move. Bobby Allison holds him off. They come to the stripe. And the winner of the 30th annual Great American Race, Bobby Allison. Davy Allison is son in second. Judy Allison is static. What a tremendous family performance. Finally, Allison approached the final yards to the finish line in ninth place. Waltrip had finished sixth. The Die Guard crew began the celebration they had sought all year. Allison had won the title by 47 points. Richard Petty risked it all to win and received the ultimate reward. He won the Daytona 500 for an unprecedented seventh time, a record that still stands today. We ended up winning 12 races, the championship. Nobody could touch us. But it looked like kind of a, an easier day for you. That's the problem with me, I make it look too easy. <laughs> It was a perfect year. First team to be honored in New York at the Waldorf. We're just happy as we can possibly be. Now the checkered flag about to come out and spreading to it is number 88. Bobby Allison has won the Daytona 500 for the second time in his career. The margin of victory was 22.87 seconds. Seven of the top eight finishers were Buicks, but number 88 was the only bumperless model.